Good evening, fellow addicts. TFA1024, the Transformers Addict here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Combiner Wars online retail exclusive Deluxe Class Quick Slinger, or as we all like to know him as, Slingshot. As you can see here, I have him in his vehicle mode, and as you can see, he is pretty much a straight repaint slash retool of Firefly, aka Fireflight. And uh, there's not really much to talk about him. Um, you know, very G1 accurate paint scheme. Looks very good. A lot of nice molding detailing. Uh, at least you get to see it. You don't really get to see it a lot on Fireflight because uh, the red plastic kind of makes things a little difficult to see. He has the, you know, the blue stripe with the red stripes on the outside with the tampographed Autobot insignias. And of course he has the orange cockpit as well as the black nose, much like Firefly. Now as you can see right here, I do have Superion still hooked up and ready to to go and uh, I will demonstrate how you know Quicksinger aka Slingshot looks in his robot mode as well as the combined mode I'm mainly only going to show off his limb mode in uh, arm mode just because I'm kind of a G1 nostalgist even though I really um, wasn't born in generation with generation 1 but I prefer the Generation 1 look rather than having him as a leg and uh, kind of weirding things up. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, but anyway, you all know the transformation, so with my stop-motion magic, I will have him transform on screen and have him show off his robot mode and I guess, uh, you know, do a size comparison with Superion here and then have him replace Alpha Bravo in combined mode. So, uh, let me transform him. I will be right back. Sadly, I don't have any, you know, comparisons for vehicle mode with me at the moment, so once again, I apologize. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let me transform him, and I shall be right back. So anyway, yes, here is Quick Slinger, otherwise known as Slingshot, in his robot mode, and as you can see, it is exactly the same as Fireflights. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is the correct way to transform him with the wings. I know, you know, you can have the wings out like that, and you can pretty much have him have part of Jet on his back. Uh, I, however, like to go for the old Generation 1 look, where you have the wings folded back, and, you know, you have him looking like this. And it looks quite a bit better. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I also forgot to mention, he does come with an accessory. He comes with the same blaster as Firefly, as well as the hand foot gun. But we're not going to pay too much attention to the the, uh, the the actual gun, since it's the same thing as Firefly, um, Fireflights. But we are going to be paying attention. Make sure to remove the hair. No. Uh, we are going to be paying attention to the hand foot gun. Um, but before we do that, of course, with, you know, with the slingshot here, the articulation is exactly the same as Fireflight. His head is on a ball joint, so it can look up, it can look, um, if you want to use the combiner peg, you, you know, it can look down a little bit. It can rotate 360 degrees. You get a little, a very slight amount of wiggle waggle movement. His arm, his shoulders can go 360 degrees, they can go in and out. He has a bicep swivel, or elbow swivel, I guess. Um, because his bicep's up there. Um, you can hear it on, like, a soft little clicky joint. And he has soft ratcheted elbows, which go 90 degrees, both forward and back. So you can give him broken elbows. Uh, no wrist articulation. He has waist articulation, which is mainly for the... The, 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 the uh... Bicep swivel of... Superion, whenever he's combined. His thighs are on a ball joint. They can go forward. They can go back. They can go in and out. He has a 90 degree knee bend, which is very nice. A little less than a 90 degree knee bend, but still. And sadly, no f uh, like no foot pivot or anything like that. So, yeah. But anyway, it's not too much of a big deal. And of course, he can hold his gun if you use the, the 5mm peg holes in his hands. You can hold his hand foot gun as a gun, double barrel blaster. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, so yeah, there's pretty much Quicksinger in a nutshell. He's practically, he's just pretty much Fireflight as a repaint slash remold. But he's a good repaint and remold, and I really like him. Anyway, moving on to the big guy, Superion. Do you mind if I borrow one of your arms? 
No? Okay then. I, I don't know what I was trying to do there. I, I, I couldn't think of his voice. I was going to go like, No, not at all, CFA. But I can't really do Superion's voice. Yeah. Anyway, once again, with the power of stop motion, I am going to have Alpha Bravo disengage, fly off, and then Quicksinger here is going to transform and combine into the limb mode. So once again, with the power of stop motion magic, I shall be right back, and you are going to see Quicksinger, aka Slingshot, in the limb mode for Superion. So just give me a moment, and I shall return once again. We have Slingshot in his arm mode, and as you can see, he pretty much just makes everything symmetrical. Um, Fireflight and Slingshot, like, once again, they share the same mold, except he's different colors, a little bit of a different head sculpt. But still, he really pulls off the look quite a bit, and I really like him. Now, for Generation 1 fans, I'm not aware if that these two actually shared the same, you know, the same mold, same jet mold, and everything. I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but please, you know, if I am wrong, correct me down in the comment section only once, um, because I'm personally not sure. Once again, never grew up with Generation 1. But anyway, I really like the way that Slingshot came out. I just, there's something about it that I really like. I, I guess maybe it's just because of the symmetry that you get whenever you combine them, because you have the, you know, you have the cockpit, nose cone, chest, or chest, shoulder pads, and then you have the, the knees, and it all just ties it into one nice little package. I still wish that gap was be you know able to be filled uh, for the sake of that because honestly I mean it looks like he just has a hole in his belly. Um, but anyway, getting a quick look at Slingshot here in his arm mode, as you can see, he is just practically the same thing as Fireflight, and he pulls it off very well. He also comes with the same weapon, and there's something I want to mention here with the Combiner Wars hands and feet. I want to, I want everyone to be aware of this because I'm not sure if any other reviewer has noticed this or not, or has even no, you know, notified this. But as you can see here, when you look at the hinges on the hands and feet of the combiners for each individual component, you also see that they have different colored pegs. For example, the combiner chest, or the combiner, combiner chest, the combiner component, the combiner, I guess you could say peg for Fireflight here is white, whereas his arm on the hinge of his thumb is gray. It's color-coded like that. Uh, you can also color-code it by other means on his body. You can color-code it by the the, the knee joints. Uh, slingshot here, he has a black combiner peg, whereas his combiner, combiner hand-foot hinge is white. You can easily identify it with the color white on Slingshot. Skydive has a black peg, and his foot hinge also is color-coded to match the peg. Same with Air Raid. Now, I'm not sure if anyone else has noticed this, but this works with all the combiners. They are color-coded with the hinges on their hand-foot guns to match the peg to correspond with that figure so you don't get confused. And there's also another easy way to remember it. They're pretty much the same weapons. For example, Skydive and Air Raid here, they both have the missiles for their for their toes um, for you know for Fireflight and Slingshot you have the double barrel blaster and for Alpha Bravo and Blades you know you have the double machine gun for the hand feet gun so there's something to remember there but uh, really I just wanted to mention that because I'm not sure if anyone any other reviewer has and um, you know if anyone did not notice this and they, you know, didn't really share, then I'm kind of hoping to be the first, because uh, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, they're all color-coded with their own individual colors, either on their bodies, on their pegs, for combined mode, and it just, it works. It really actually works. I mean, I have not forgotten which weapons are which. I mean, I may have a couple of times before, but then when I notice that, I'm like, huh, okay, that makes sense. It works a lot easier. So, yeah, that's really cool. I mean, I did not notice that until a couple months ago, and I uh, never mentioned it then, so I apologize. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So if you ever get confused, remember which colors are the hinges and the, the pegs, or, you know, on the, the figure themselves. But anyway, to do a quick little size comparison, here is Superion next to Alpha Bravo. And as you can see, Alpha Bravo, he's, he's tiny. He's a tiny little dude. And to make matters worse, 
<laughs> here's a little power guide next to Alpha Bravo. So you got small, medium, and then you got super size. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but anyway, my final thoughts is if you honestly want a more Generation 1 accurate Superion, I would highly recommend that you pick up Slingshot here. Sadly, he is not available in store retail. He is an online exclusive only. And it's a little bit of a struggle because I had to quickly make a pre-order on Robot Kingdom, but still, I managed to get him and I'm very pleased with him. And if you would like to own Slingshot, or AK, or Click Slinger, whatever you want to call him, you can always go to BigBadToyStore.com for availability, or you can go to TS Source, Amazon, anywhere online that sells Transformers toys. Search him up and get him, because he's an amazing figure, and like I said, he puts Superion in one nice little package. He makes everything symmetrical, and I love it so much. Anyway... So I think that's pretty much it to say. So this has been the video review for the Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Slingshot. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Remember to stay tuned for Transformers Infinite Chaos Episode 1. I have officially put a sneak peek of the intro for Transformers Infinite Chaos Episode 1 Resurrection Part 1 on my channel. So go check that out. Really awesome. And a big thanks to that voice actor for making the artwork as well as the intro for Transformers Infinite Chaos. Once again, dude, very happy to have you on board. And also be sure to stay tuned for Rising Warfare Part 2 of 2. That'll be coming out very soon. I put a sneak peek up for that as well, so you guys can go check that out and let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. And be sure to stay tuned next week as well as the remainder of this week because as of this, as of tomorrow, I'm going to start Devastation Week. Now, I know that Devastation doesn't come out until next Tuesday. However... I've been meaning to review the Transformers Combiner Wars Titan Class Devastator over there that's in the box with the, combat, the uh, Stunicons and the Protectobots, and I've not gotten to do it yet. So, as of, the, yes, as of tomorrow, Devastator is going to be reviewed, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And also, if you would like to see a certain video uploaded, or a video review, or gameplay that you want to suggest, please hit me up down in the comment section down below, and I will try my best to accommodate and, you know, make that video for you guys. And remember, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. If you want to see more of my awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, TFA1024, The Transformers Addict. I will leave a link down in the description down below. And if you want to chat with me, or if you want to let me know what you thought about my videos, then please hit me up down in the comment section down below, or post your message to me via the Facebook page. And also be sure to stay tuned for Transformers Thought Corner, a new episode will be coming out tomorrow around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, we may have a special guest, we may not, but we'll see what happens, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And remember, my fellow addicts, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts for life. This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, signing out. Peace.